hello friends welcome to databricks video tutorials and today's session i am going to give an example and explanation on what is a cache and persistence and how to use this and what are the benefits if you are going to use this so what are the benefits you will get if you are going to use this so let's look at understand difference between cache and persistence so whenever you are reading a data frame or rdd it will take the data from storage location and it will do the actions whatever you are doing that but if you are frequently repeated actions if you are doing that so every time it will get the same uh, same data from particular location right what you can do you can store this data into memory and uh, whatever you are doing repeated actions instead of getting from particular location whatever you have a storage location it will get the data from memory if you use cache or persist then what is the difference between cache and persist cache means it will store only in memory and persist means um, spark they are providing other options not only memory you can store this data into memory plus disk memory only and there are other parameters you can specify if you use persist that's called a uh, disk only memory and disk and uh, serializable like it will serialize the data and there is a two option there it will keep the two copies data into each worker node so that's the concept of persist so if you use this benefit means time efficient cost efficient and lesser execution time so obviously multiple times if you are reading this data repeated transactions and actions if you are doing that transformations and actions so it will improve your performance execution time it will reduce that so let's look at this so i'm creating one data frame one rdd just so whenever you are first time reading this data like doing actions it will fetch the data from here you can see scan csv file so it is not reading from memory because we not done not had done any cache or persist you can look at this dag also so stage level you can see this it is retrieving from a native method so whatever the data is available so it is scanning csv file so let's look at that how to use cache and persist so cache or persist directly data frame dot cache or data frame dot persist we can use and persist will have other options storage levels are available that as we discussed memory only memory and disk and uh, serializable these are the multiple options available let's go with the cache we will look at so just then i'm creating another data frame top of this data frame i'm creating another data frame just i am doing display so after that again i am doing multiple other transactions that's wherever whoever salary is more than 2000 like greater than equal to 2000 it is displaying this see what i did just i enabled cache here after that i did uh, selecting few fields and applying filter for department 20 then just i did a display then after that what i did i created another filter and display just look at this execution plan how it's worked now here you can see earlier it is scanned data scan from a csv file now it is you can see it is scanning from in memory table in memory table like to go to stage level here you can see here you can see in memory field index so it is cached so the data is you can see in memory table scan this entire plan also here you can see plan is changed okay so this is the way we can go for using cache or persist cache or persist cache means it will store only memory and if you want to specify other parameters you can just go with storage level so if you want to know the storage level this here you can check the storage level okay and uh, 
this are the uh, parameters that I will show you how it looks. Then if you purge that, so how to purge? We can use unpersist. We can use unpersist. So unpersist means it will clear the memory. Whatever it is occupied, it will clear. So let's look at that. So if you are frequently using this cache or persist mechanism in your code, and the day, like if you schedule multiple jobs and frequently it will occupy your memory if you are not doing end of this job unpersist what will happen the same memory will be there and that memory can be dropped can be purged only least recently used algorithm that is automatically it will purge whatever cached memory but it will take some time immediately it won't do so what we can do whatever you have written a jobs or code better to mention end of your code because whatever you are using re, re, use activity repeated activities so end of this job just mention unpersist so it will clear the memory whatever you used then you won't get a out of memory exception so that whatever used cache it will be purged so that's the concept of unpersist okay clearing the memory then as i told other options here you can see memory only serializable so it will store this data serializable option that's called memory only serializable and two memory only two means it will store this uh, replication data to uh, like uh, two cluster nodes like it will keep another copy same thing memory only serializable to then memory and disk normally we have three options memory only disk only memory and disk you can store in memory, you can store in disk, you can store in both. On top of that, there are other options, serializable and copying two copies data. Serializable means directly you have to mention underscore SER. This only for Java and Scala. Same thing for underscore two, two for copying, like cop another copy into two, uh, in two cluster nodes. So that's called memory only, disk only, memory and disk. So how to set that? So just you have to first import this method, then persist store level dot memory and disk. Now, so better to unpersist first, like clearing this. Then again, I'm setting this. Now you can run this display. Now you can check the plan. Here you can see in memory table scan. Okay, so like this we can go for using cache or persist mechanism. Then so unpersist means clearing that. And if you want to know the storage level, just you can pass this, it will show the storage level. True, true, false, false, and one. So if you are managing a two copies here. So now you can re-verify this storage level. Here now we uh, earlier we got one right now it's not changed. Just do unpersist because we didn't do unpersist. So now run it, enable this persist. Now you can see two. So, so you can verify it like that. So I have already mentioned here. If it is disk two, here you can see two. If it is one, like if you not underscore two, then default will be one. Okay, and disk only means this is all the parameter values true boolean values actually. Okay. It is disk only means both are disk only, only here one, here is two. Same thing, memory and disk means true, true, false, false. Here you can see the storage level. So 
persist will have these all the options so based on your requirement you can use serializable serializable to memory only disk only memory and disk these are all the options then another one is sql okay uh, like clearing uh, just another options i will tell you that so if you want to clear the cache spark catalog wise context wise okay is the multiple options are available a specific table if you want to on uh, cache there a table wise is there this is the commands catalog wise context wise so this options we can use clear cache then after clear cache unpersist also we can use individual uh, rddr data frame this is the multiple options and broadcast variable so what is mean by broadcast variable means we discussed for rdd data frame right what about variables so variables also you can store this into memory but difference is persistence and broadcast difference is persistence will keep the one single copy but the broadcast it will keep the all worker nodes whatever you have a worker nodes all worker nodes it will keep the read only copy that's called broadcast variable so how to use uh, declare a broadcast variable means spark context dot broadcast then your uh, variable values then you can return that just you can verify the type it is the variable type is see here broadcast so spark context dot broadcast we have to use while creating a variable broadcast variable so this is a uh, another way we, where if you have a uh, huge like a huge context data when whenever you are using this uh, repeatedly for filters or uh, whatever you have a requirement just you can go with the broadcast variable then this is the other options and what about the sql sql also will have a cache so sql also will have a cache so just before that uh, we will run normal query i have a table so whenever you are running table it's a packet table if you look at the plan it will get the data from packet file i'm not enable cache here here you can see scan packet sample db file okay then what i am doing cache table table name cache table table name so i'm running this then i'm rerunning my query again now look at the plan look at the plan plan should change here you can see scan in memory okay scan in memory so first time it will load the data from your packet file wherever storage location then it will copy into in memory then next time whenever you are using that it will get the data from that particular in memory table like this is the way we can go where dpt first time it will then rerun it again see here it is getting from in memory so next time wherever you are using this square table it will get the data from in memory so this is the way we can go for normally if you have a lookup tables so if you have more queries lookup tables just to keep this data into memory then multiple queries we are using same table like most of the table dimension tables like customer product sku these all the tables will be using frequently so you can store into memory then how to purge this memory so just you have a uncache table or clear cache clear cache entire cache table means particular table if you have done for particular table you can use uncache table wise so this is the way we can go for using cache or persist mechanism in spark py spark sql level as well as python level so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get the latest updates on my channel thank you very much